Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and I figured out what the problem was. Back here in the Queen's room, we missed one of the two switches. I got the uh, first one, and then I went over to the grate, expecting it to be open. But it turns out you actually have to hit both switches. I didn't know this one was here. So there's that one, I found that just exploring around. It's on, it's on the opposite side from the other switch, which was right over there in plain sight. So we got that one, we had to get that one too in order to open the gate. So now that the grate is open, it shouldn't be an issue at all getting a bomb in here. So that was just a little bit of confusion on my part, and I apologize. Like I said, no practice run for this game, so there'll be there'll be occasional times like that when uh, stuff doesn't quite run very really really smoothly. But we figured it out. There's only a couple minutes of running around. Boom! All right. Are you all right? My children. When I was captured, they became scared and are now hiding around the fortress. <coughs> Please, take this. Use it when you hear them. Its call will guide them back to me. If the Shark Claw find them, I fear they will leave the fortress forever. Yeah, this queen is really needy. First we gotta, like, get the Sharp Claw out of her fortress. You know, and then we gotta get the floor, get her out of the cage. Or actually, we got her out of the cage in Cape Claw. And then we got her out of this cage. Yeah! New item! You got the Cloud Runner flute! And now we gotta go find her babies, and it's just like, ah, seriously? Wait, did I hear the one just back there? Seriously? Is there one in this room? Definitely hear some chirping. I'm gonna go look I'm gonna look around up there. I wouldn't be surprised if they put one really close to sort of be like a tutorial for you. Let's see, where's that flute? Yeah, blow the flute, nice. Okay, we'll take a look around in here. Why not? They might give us an easy one. Let's see. I don't see one. Let's try using the flute. What the hell was that? That was interesting, Fox, I gotta say. Let's do that again. That's kind of funny. <laughs> he looks so happy. He just like immediately knows how to play it. That's pretty funny. Oh, man. Alright, so we got a couple of them out here, don't we? Yeah, they're, they're gonna show it to us. Awesome. Dude. Oh shit. Like, that Sharp Claw's actually scaring him off, huh? Alright, I guess we better kill the Sharp Claw before they get too scared and leave the fortress forever. Awesome. That wasn't bad. Let's try playing the flute for it. God, that's hilarious! Let's take it over how silly he looks when he does that. Do 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 do. And then it's gonna show us. Oh, it shows us the next one already. Okay, cool. I hear I thought we we're gonna have to like find them. But no, it, it like it's part of the quest. Apparently, it's just gonna lead us from one to the next. So, is that going up? Yes, it is. All right. Then wanna like leap into the hole and be like, ah, oh, crap! Now I gotta get back up there. I'm gonna earthquake these guys. This is for fun. Let's do it. Boom! Did it kill him? It didn't even hurt him. Oh, dude, that's shenanigans. What the heck is going on here? I can't believe that using that earthquake ability doesn't hurt enemies. That's crazy. But, like, it knocked him down for such a short amount of time that it was basically did nothing. Ugh. Well, they did a little bit of damage to him, I guess. That one was easier to kill than normal. Alright, let's play him a tune. God, that's just so... That's so weird. Just, oh my gosh. Let's take it over how silly Fox looks when he does that. Oh, now we got some guys out here. Now this area is actually hard, kind of hard to find. I just found it on my own while I was exploring. I accidentally like discovered how to get out there. And we can make this jump if you do it right. There you go. And that makes it a faster path for us to get... Whoops. Actually, we don't want to make that jump. We want to go down. We drop down. Take the hit. Totally worth it. And we roll through here. But we got to find our way back out to that baby. We go in this way. And we head out this way. We go down this ladder. And you come over here, there's actually a box that I didn't destroy earlier. I destroyed it off screen. But you destroy the box and there's a little rocket pad underneath it. And you can use that at any point. Like, as soon as you get here, it's automatically available because you already have the rocket booster. And so I actually came up here earlier, but like I couldn't do anything with the kid because I didn't have the flute. And the sharp claw weren't here, so like the whole quest hadn't started yet. <coughs> Excuse me. That's two. I got some magic. I'm going to finish the third one off with some fire. Where's he going to land for us? 
I think if you get too close, they get scared. They're just like, ah, get away from me. Alright, cut that out. Wow, he like does like a little call and answer session. Now we gotta get all the way back out to that guy and kill all four of those dudes, huh? Nice. Well, it shouldn't take long to get out there. I actually have full health. I don't even need to break that. I killed all three of those guys without taking a hit. It's funny how, like, hazards in this game are much more likely to get you killed than enemies. Because if you, like, make a note of that, like, the times I've died, one of them was running into a wall and the other was getting killed by that Thresher Maw. But, like, I, I don't know. I guess that's one enemy and one hazard, so it's not really a very good sample. I mean, and it's too small. And so, like... I don't know, but I feel like I've taken hits a lot more frequently from, like, hazards than I have from enemies. So wait, where... Shoot, where was that other... I just, like, totally lost track of where I was going. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta head this way. Sneak past these guys that are trying to zap us. I'm just gonna take a hit from the turtle, I think, so I can swim through a little bit faster. There we go. It's like some of these enemies aren't really enemies, they're more obstacles. Like the ones with the little bots that float around with their lasers. Those are more obstacles than enemies, anyway. Is this the right way? Nope. Definitely not. Run this way. And that bird's like lost a third of its health already. I gotta get out there and get those guys. I'll pick up some more magic so I can use my fire blaster on them all. That'd be the fastest way to get rid of them. It's probably a good idea at this point. I think my controller's got low batteries. I see Fox occasionally just like... will like stop running. Well that didn't really accomplish much, did it? Would be better if I focused on just one guy, I think. That's one. Yeah, like a lot of them have like a couple hits on them, but I don't think any, I don't think I killed any of them. Well, I mean, I know I didn't kill any of them. Probably would have seen it. Quit blocking my shots. Dumb, oh, you're blocking my shots. Oh my gosh, such a funny line. Like you're shooting your teammate in the back of the head, and your character's just like, "Dude, you're blocking my shots." Like, <laughs> whereas if you shoot Baird, I think he says that he's on your side. He's like, "Dude, I'm on your side." He's like, "Oh yeah, we know. I'm trying to kill you." All right, where's he gonna land? Alright, is that all of them? Are there four or are there five? I can't remember. Well, it didn't show us any other ones, so that was four. But I thought there were five... Oh, wait, the fifth one is probably for her. Y'all see what I'm talking about in a second when we get in here. Yeah, the controller is definitely dying. Like, I can see Fox, like, occasionally while I'm running. So just, like, stop running. And that's a, that's a sign that, he, that, the bat, that the batteries in the wireless controller are dying. This is like a variable signal. Alright, so get past the little bot. And the four things I was the five things I was talking about are these ledges that they're all sitting on now. There's a fifth one up there, which I think the queen is gonna sit on. Thank you, Fox. As promised, here is your reward. Ooh. Scales has hidden the spell stone inside the treasure rooms. Find it, Fox, and return it to the Force Point Temple. Our planet is in your hands. Yeah, that was weird. Those cutscenes are kind of strangely forced. Like, they just don't feel genuine at all. Like, there's no like hero of time aspect. And I've said this before. Like, why didn't we have to prove that we were a good guy? I mean, we did very little to actually like earn the like privilege of like saving the planet. I mean, that sounds weird to say it like that, but... Who's Fox? He's just like a mercenary. Honestly, you want to put your, your like the whole re fate of your planet in like Fox's hands? I mean, like, the answer is yes, but still, like, if you didn't know who the guy was... I mean, you know, all, you know is a, all you know is that he's a furry. I mean, that's the only thing you can get from his appearance. Alright. Oh my gosh, I just realized that he's an orange and cream fox. That's so funny. I know a guy in real life who's a furry, and, he, and he's an orange and cream fox. Alright, we got some fireflies here. So we're probably gonna need to use a lantern. At least that's what, I, that's what that would seem to indicate. There it goes. And we got a tunnel. Alright, look at the look at the map. This is weird. It's like we got a map on top of a map down there. Alright, well this is gonna shoot us up. We don't want to do that. Let's turn that off. Yeah, so we don't want to go up. We want to go across. As we go up, we'll go back up to the th throne area. I don't even feel like I need a firefly for this, but I'm going to use one for you guys' sake. Because I know that it can be kind of hard to see what the heck's going on on the video screen occasionally. When it gets to really dark areas like this, and so I'm just going to... Alright, we got to bomb that somehow. So where's the bombs? Back over here? Probably in the box, right? No, that's a boffin' bed. So where's the bombs? 
Hmm. I didn't see any place to pick up the bomb. That's weird. Are there any back in here? Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. This is a puzzle. We gotta use this lift to get a bomb down there. That's gonna take that's gonna take some finagling. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time on Multiply Star Fox Adventures. When we'll turn into a sharp claw and start screwing around with the bombs. See you guys then.